finally have an afternoon game. It's been a while since we've had this, and uh, uh, obviously against a great team, uh, Wisconsin is the same Wisconsin you've seen uh, for a long time. They're patient. They play very good defense. They're, you look at their field goal percentages; they're incredible on defense. And uh, they, they have a younger backcourt than, than we've seen before, but uh, I, I think they've lost two home games, both of them, you know, tough games. But uh, they're 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 a good team, both home and away, but in particular at the Kohl Center. John, John, do you have uh, an update on Jordan? And Jordan Jason? practiced yesterday. It was the best he looked. Nick, with uh, I guess in that same line, John, with. With Jordan being out, or maybe he's healthy again, I mean, is the two-post thing a realistic thing that you guys would like to do, or is it you guys have come with this lineup the whole way? And well, I think that it, the, the biggest, my biggest concerns is the defensive end of that. It's not playing the two guys offensively. It depends really who we're playing and uh, what that guy can do on the perimeter. And so Jordan is one of our guys who really feel good about going out and chasing around a, a Deshaun Thomas, a uh, Chris Watford, but is, is, uh, can the other guys do that? And just So that, it's a more of a defensive issue than it is an offensive issue. But if Jordan, let's say Jordan was healthy for those Indiana Ohio State, yeah. would you like to yeah. use it more? Well, you would have played, yeah, you would have played five to ten minutes as a four-man and give Glenn a little bit of a rest. In the back, Michael? Just to kind of clarify, does that mean Jordan would start tomorrow? Yeah, Jordan practiced yesterday, practiced really well. So what do you think? Is he going to, is he going to be available for more? You think than those he, two practiced today, pra he practiced yesterday, practiced really well. That should, you should be able to make, but I'm not going to, I don't know anything what I'm going to do with numbers until I see everybody again today. But he practiced yesterday, practiced well. And when you look at Indiana lost again last night, is, well, you don't like to make a big deal about a number one ranking or playing for a number one ranking. Is that a good thing, though, that there's, it seems like there's always pressure that type of pressure for what, when you look ahead, maybe to March. You know, that's a, really that's all we're we're trying to do is just win the Big Ten championship. And what 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 that game meant last night that that was a uh, a really good game. Uh, Illinois played very well and hung in there when it felt, thought it was going the other way. But it proves you know the team that's going to win this league is going to have to win on the road uh, a lot of games, and uh, that's very very difficult to do. Mark John. Are the defensive concerns, were those the single game issues, or are there, is there a pattern developing that yeah. you think you should address? Yeah, I think our, our, we just looked at it, and most of it was with, out of inexperience. But I think um, we got so locked into individual matchups that you know we, uh, we were trying to shut down a couple of people in, in all those games and didn't go back to our, yeah, we're trying to shut them down, but you still have to be at the midline. You still have to be in the paint when your man doesn't have the ball. So a lot of inexperience out there on defense and as every game changes whether it's now it's the Wisconsin offense that's very different than the Indiana which is very different. And, uh, Ohio State was very patient as well but the times are explosive. So for our, guy, for our guys especially in that swing we haven't had, been able to have repetitions in practice in two weeks. It's I mean, you just can't rep the day after a game you, 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 you win at Illinois, you come back, you can't rep that day. Now, you're getting ready for the game, you can't tire them out that game. So yesterday, we got reps in, and that's what we need. But it's mental discipline, not physical on defense at this point, do you think? Concerned? Yeah, the, I think it's both. I think we have to be uh, really uh, be stronger uh, with our giving help. I mean, we have to, we, the, the, our posture and our, uh, the, how we come and give help if we need it. We also have to be able to guard the ball a little bit better. But all of it comes with experience and repetition, which we have, we've had none of for two straight weeks. We play games, that does make you better. Repetition in practice makes you better. We haven't been able to do that. I mean, we did drills yesterday. That last, the last time we did those drills was two or three weeks ago, but drills that you traditionally do all season long, but are fundamental to October. We, we, you get away. There's slippage always. In the middle, no one. It's sort of in that same vein, you've gone to, I guess, the zone for a possession here and there yeah. in the, the last few games. If we stay in the zone, they might score a thousand points. And, but we're working at it. But we might lose a thousand to something because we just give up points in the zone. But we're working at it. So go more, ahead. Does more practice time help with that? Yeah, we haven't been able I mean, we, we, we go six to ten minutes every now and then in the zone. But we need practice time, is what we felt what we felt from doing things. But it's still in there, and we're still working at it. Work at it today, we worked at it yesterday, we'll continue to work at it. So we have that. But in, in one, two possession games, 
uh, it can it could eat you up too.